Hey travel lovers, welcome back to Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about why we went to Italy, what we're doing now in quarantine, and what the future holds. So let's get into it. Okay, so one of your first questions might be, why did you go to Italy in the first place? We did go when Northern Italy was starting to get their cases. Um, but we had direct flights to Sicily, which is an island off the southern coast of Italy, and they weren't really having an issue at the time. We had a conference that we were supposed to go to, um, which did end up getting canceled, but they still have activities for us to do if we were still going. And we've been dreaming of doing this for ages. It was also our 10 year wedding anniversary. And I was pretty stubborn. I was like, nobody is taking this away from me. And we just didn't know how bad this was gonna get. So we went. Super excited. We even got to celebrate on the plane down. KLM surprised us with some kava, which was amazing and so sweet. We love KLM. Um, please work with us. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was all great. We got this great apartment. Like seriously, we didn't even know how good it was. It, it felt like a mansion and it was in an old palazzo. Yeah, no, a palace. Um, it was beautiful and it was right next to the metro station and one stop away was going to be where the conference was, which we didn't know because their metro isn't on Google Maps yet, but know that there is one. <laughs> um, everything was perfect and Sunday we went and we did this activity um, with one of the sponsors, which was amazing. It was a wine tasting from wines from Mount Edna. Yes. Wines are grown on the side of Mount Edna. How cool is that? And then we got to kind of just hang out in the orange grove. It was so nice and you kind of forgot what was going on at the moment. And then as we were leaving that, the next day's activities got canceled. We were really, really, really looking forward to that and so disappointed. But new things were being, new regulations were being implemented and it just wasn't right. So we did our own thing, we chilled out, made our video uh, on food. If you haven't watched that yet, head on up here. You'll find our favorite food in Catania. And yeah, uh, then that's when it really all hit the fan. We were in a bar with a friend and the staff just kind of collected around the television set. And then the next thing we know, we're getting the messages in our WhatsApp group for the people who were there. And Italy was then declared basically red. So no movement, no anything. And everybody started booking their flights out. We had a KLM flight um, to leave the next Saturday. So like almost two weeks later, they were making it so you could change your flight for free. And um, so we did that to that Thursday. That was the first direct flight out. We didn't want to risk going through all the layovers through Rome and Milan. Like that just didn't make any sense to us. So we waited. We figured it made more sense to just stay away from people, go to the grocery store, and go fly out directly back to Amsterdam on that Thursday. And that's exactly what we did. We had a lot of mini little freakouts at the airport <laughs> um, between Sean traveling on his Italian passport, which makes sense um, because you know Italians had to have like this good reason to leave. But here in Europe, if you're American, um, just so you know, you register to live somewhere. So if you're not in your home country, um, you are registered like I live in Amsterdam. So that means like you aren't taxed at home. They know you don't live there. And so that was actually a pretty easy um, situation. Turned out my residency permit had expired, which I didn't realize. I thought it was at the end of this month. Um, so I thought they were gonna check that to make sure I was going home. Um, none of that happened. Uh, so we got on the flight and all was good. Our flight was not canceled. And we've been in self quarantine for 11 days now. So that's what that happened. That's what happened with that. Um, and, I'm, and I'm filling you guys in on this because I know not everybody who watches YouTube videos reads the blog. If you do wanna read more about it in more detail with a little bit more emotion, because it was pretty raw when I wrote it, um, I'll leave a link down below so that you can um, read the full story. What's been going on since we've gotten home? Not a whole lot. I did make bread yesterday. If you don't follow us on Instagram, I'll leave um, that information. Oh, here, here somewhere over here. Um, so you can follow us on there and you'll get updates uh, as we try to figure this all out together. Um, we've stayed inside except to take the trash out. 
Uh, we have ordered groceries so we don't have to go out and we've ordered delivery from a couple local businesses and farms because they're doing that now. It's all contactless delivery so they leave it at the door, they step away and they, they ring the doorbell. Uh, it's really super easy and we're just trying to do the best we can to support these businesses because this is a hard time for everybody, especially travel bloggers. I shouldn't say especially. I just say that because that is what I am, that is my business, and I'm feeling it. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been really hard. It's been hard to concentrate. But I have blog posts coming out, so if you do read the blog, there will be content still coming out, so don't worry. But the videos. We'll be halting videos for now. I have ideas that I can do in the house, but I don't think that I can give you the quality that I want to give you. I think it'd be a lot of compromising. And I just, I want to give you the, the best of what I can offer. And I don't think coming up with ideas just to have videos every week is the right thing to do right now. So um, yeah, catch up with us on Instagram. And I think that's the best way to get through this together. Uh, but as soon as we start traveling, and I promise you, we will start traveling as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe. Um, and then we'll have a whole lot of content for you. But I am being affected, so if you do wanna help, watching past videos is a big help. Um, checking out the blog and clicking through and reading different things, that's an amazing help. And I like building this community with you guys because we are all in this together. And I wanna give you interesting content, I wanna give you helpful content. I'd love to show you just how we travel because I think that being just a couple with no kids who just love to travel and live in Europe, I think that's interesting to me uh, and I know that other people will find that interesting and it took me a long time to realize that other people might find um, how we travel interesting and I, I hope you do. Um, if there are kinds of videos that you would like to see, let us know down below because I am always really interested in that. Whether it's about expat life or Amsterdam or different European cities, if there's somewhere you want us to go, it's kind of an open plan right now, so let us know. Um, yeah, but I just, I hope you stay entertained and that you can connect with us uh, for now. I think that's that's about it. Um, please listen to your local governments, stay inside if you can, and support local businesses if at all possible. I hope everybody stays healthy and sane. If you need to chat, hit me up on Instagram DMs and we can talk about whatever you'd like. Um, but for now, until I see you guys again, bye.